Hi, my name is Debbie Daly, and this is my first set first segment for my new blog at thewillowsun.com called Daily Decor. And what I'm going to show you today is how to choose interior paint color for your home using existing furnishings, accessories, and paintings. So what you need to do first is find an inspiration in your room to choose the color, and that would be an inexpensive change on decorating your room. So my inspiration here on this board is this bare room, there's bare walls. There is color in the furniture, which is the red color and the gold pillows. So this room could use a spark of color, warm it up, it has high ceilings. So what we're going to do here is choose our inspiration colors for our walls off the furnishings. And here on the board, we have a gold color, which would be a nice contrast on the bottom half of the wall up against the red furniture and a red color on the top top part of the walls. The ceilings are really high so the red would really warm up the space and bring the whole space together giving it a deeper darker saturated dramatic look. Now um, from there we can actually show you how to do uh, pick inspiration color from furniture. All right, so now we have our inspiration piece of furniture for this particular room that has white walls. We have a gold and gray toile fabric, and we want to warm up the space, but still keep it soft and mellow, light and airy, using some pastel color tones. So my thought was to use this edge, edge comb gray. Um, it is a Benjamin Moore color. It's still light, it's soft. Um, we'll warm up the space, but I still want to have another option because I'm unsure. I'm thinking of either the lightning white or the lemon sorbet. So what I'm going to do is uh, paint a sample board with the edge comb gray because I think this is the one I want to use. The chair will stand off the wall as a contrast color. So we're going to go over now and the easiest way to sample your paint is to purchase a four ounce little jar of, ben of Benjamin Moore has them for $4.99. So those are easy enough. They're inexpensive. You don't have to buy a whole quart to test your paint color out. So I'm going to try edge comb gray. And what I'm going to do is paint a poster board in the edge comb gray color. And that's going to allow me to see what it looks like on the wall. So I'm going to pour a little here. And paint the white poster board. Now these little jaws will cover a area of about uh, eight square feet. So that's usually a four by four square. And you wanna make sure that you cover it well enough so you can get the actual color. And of course, as the paint dries, it's going to appear a little bit darker And also, lighting plays a big part in making a decision on your paint color. So when you're sampling your board on the wall, you want to use painter's tape. That will allow you to move the sample on the four different walls and view it in different light. Now, sometimes it's a rainy day, sometimes it's a sunny day, so that's also going to play a part in your decision. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to take the painter's tape and tape this behind the chair. is make sure it's enough contrast for us and by putting it behind your inspiration piece which is this chair here it warms up the space you can visually see how the wall color changes as well and that actually gives you the contrast color on your wall instead of the white walls and for actual accessorizing these other two colors that I had considered, um, you can, we can probably use the lightning white for the trim on the woodwork. 
which works well with our inspiration piece. And we can also use the lemon sorbet as contrast. So we might want to do some more throw pillows in this. We might want to do an ottoman in this and reupholster it. This could be the window treatments that would be on the wall. So even if you choose three paint colors for one inspirational piece of furniture, you'll be able to accessorize in the colors that you don't use and use the softer color to warm up your space on your walls. Now, uh, what we will show you is how to choose paint color from an area rug. An area rug is the best way to build a room when you have nothing else in the space and it's a vacant space. You purchase your area rug first and pull color from there. That way you can build the whole room with wall color, furniture, and window treatments. All right, so now here we are at our area rug. We have a vacant room. We're building the room and designing the room. We need paint color. So we have the area rug which is our inspirational piece for choosing paint color. What we want to do is make this space a little bit more dramatic where it's a brighter space. We have a soft rug, but the colors that we had considered were a gray color, which is a Cape Hatteras sand from Benjamin Moore. That would be on three walls in the room. And our inspiration was the gray color that is in this rug as well. Then we went to the Bonu, which is another Benjamin Moore color. It's more of a plum or grapey color by putting this on a focal wall. The other inspiration for this particular room, which is a master bedroom, is a large wall mirror. And it's a contemporary mirror. It's kind of silvery gray with large fingers coming out of it, which actually mimics the design that's in the rug here. So that gray silver mirror will sit on this plum color, plum grape color um, that will be on that focal wall. And the other inspiration to this piece, now we have a focal wall, we have three walls in gray, and the opposite wall was the large window. So to make it a little bit more dramatic, what we did was choose a charcoal color fabric. And that fabric actually is gonna be the tying in factor for all the elements in the room because this is going to be a Roman shade on a large window. So that's gonna be very dramatic, actually creating balance from the contrast wall, the plum wall that the mirror sits on. And on that same wall, there'll be a little sitting area of a black leather chair. So now we've created balance in the room, we've built the room uh, coming off of the rug and choosing paint color and all the other elements from there. So that's how you choose your paint color for your room, is find an inspiration piece, whether it be a piece of furniture, a painting, a vase, a pillow. Find a contrast color that works for you and pick, a choo pick and choose a paint color that will work and warm up your space. So we've learned how to choose wall paint color using our inspirational furnishings that we already own. An area rug, a piece of furniture, and a piece of artwork. Make sure you follow my next segment which will be on creating a gallery of wall art and how to hang your wall art with your own photos and paintings. And you can also follow my blog at thelowellsun.com called Daily Decor. And thank you for watching.